Security operatives on rescue operations at the site of the crashed Nigerian Air Force plane in the Katampe area of Abuja. Residents around the area were the first to respond to the situation. We started was like they touched the other one. So why the other one was able to manage it? The other one could not. So the next thing we saw was at this particular point, the other one just, you know, used the the what do you call it the the mouth and we now saw some of them with uh, on a uh, tera, um, parachute i saw people coming down from the jet coming down from the jet through the parachute so when i got here i met uh, the road safety and some of the air force men around they moved some of them in their vehicle so i don't know if the people in the vehicle are dead or they are still alive it's like sure of force, but what happened here is an accident. It's an accident and uh, I hope they survive. According to the Nigeria Air Force Director of Public Relations and Information, Air Commodore Ibikunle Daramola, in a statement, two F-7NI combat aircraft were involved in the accident. One is a trainer version carrying one pilot and the other a combat version carrying two pilots. While the officers successfully ejected from the aircraft, one of them died from complications to injuries sustained after rejecting. When we're looking at it, the parachute opened. Then before the other parachute opened, the other one was just coming speed, the parachute not open. He was just open his hand. He was trying to see to see whether he can struggle to see how he can open, but there's no way. He was trying to control himself, no way. That was how we put. So when we reached at the scene, we now saw that uh, the parachute, the the man could not open to, able to open the parachute, then he passed away. The Chief of Staff to the President, Alhaji Abakiari, led a team to the Defense Intelligence Agency clinic, where the survivors are receiving treatment. The survivors are in stable condition and the military authorities have commenced investigation into the cause of the crash. We have set up a board of inquiry to clearly understand what really happened. This was supposed to be the last rehearsal before the actual uh, flying on the 1st of October. Well, it's very unfortunate that we lost one of them, but we are also consoled by the fact that we have two of the pilots here who are in a very stable condition. At the Gudu Cemetery, the Chief of Staff to the President and the Chief of Air Staff are joined by the Secretary to the Government and the Chief of Defence Staff as the remains of the Air Force officer is laid to rest. Squadron leader Bello Babaari was 32 years old.